Hello, my name is Yahya. I'm a computer engineer and today we would create a three floor elevator system design project. So we would look at step by step how the logic design works, how the input affects the output. So you can see how digital system concepts apply in a real example. The tool that we would be using here is Logism. It is an old tool, but still functional. So we're going to build this from scratch, but first let's take a look on what this is. This shows how requests are handled and how the elevator moves between floors. Our design here is divided into two main sections, the upper part and the lower part. The upper part controls the cargo logic while the lower part manages the floor logic. Don't get worried about this. We're going to cover how the Logism software works while building our project. So for now, we're going to leave that lower part of our design and we're going to focus on the upper part of our logic here because basically those two parts have the same logic. We're not gonna get into a lot of details. We're gonna come into that later when we would be building this whole design from scratch. So on the upper part of our design here, those numbers from zero to three representing the buttons that are inside the elevator, while on the lower part of our design, those numbers representing the buttons that are on each floor. So now let's do a quick demo of how the project works. Imagine a building with three floors, including the ground floor. Initially, the elevator is on the third floor. So let's make it on the third floor. Now, if we just arrived at the building, and press the button on the ground, it should send a signal for the elevator to come down. So let's do that. Let's press the ground floor. All right, here we can see the signal telling the elevator to go down. There are three possible signals, up, stop, and down. In this case, it gave the down signal, which makes perfect sense. The elevator was on a higher floor than us, so it sends a signal to come down. 